Hi there, this is Art and Such with part one of my new Shrek tutorial. I have some better equipment and some new techniques since the first time I tried this, and I thought we could do a better job this time. So this is a bit of a complicated pattern, but I'll walk you through everything. You're going to need brown for the vest and the shoes, or the, the leggings and for the eyes. And you'll need black bands for the eyebrows and for the socks or the boots. You'll be needing white bands, a lot of white bands for the main outfit and also for the eyes. And you'll be needing uh, quite a bit of green as well. And this will be the body color or the skin tone. So we're gonna start on the face and you will need your loom and the offset configuration for this part. You might want to have a second loom handy because we'll be doing the body later as well on a, on a flat loom like this. Okay. So for the head, we're going to start with the offset and we're taking two green bands and going from the top middle to the top on the first on the side and the top middle to the top of the second side. Then we'll go down with two sets of doubles three times, sets of doubles three times, one, two, three, on either side. We'll go in from the fourth peg on the side to the fifth peg on the center, and the same from this direction, and fill these in with doubles. We're going to make the ear. I've made one already, but I'll show you how to make one of your own, and then you can do the other on a pause. We're going to take a single green, wrap it three or four times on our hook, double a green single over onto itself, and bring this other piece on top, and we're going to repeat that two more times. So a green single, fold it onto itself. Put it on the end of the hook with a little bit of tension. Pull your elastics over. Replace. And one more time. This is something you can always do on the loom if you're more comfortable with that and it doesn't take up a lot of space. I, I personally find this a little bit easier to do. Okay. Once you have that, it's going to go on the top part, the top peg on the side. And then you're going to pause your video and repeat this for your other ear. Just stretch this up really, really good so it fits nice and tidy. Make sure you get all those bounds on top. Okay. Your other ear will go right on the other side. You, you'll be seeing, I'm going to try and keep this all in camera view, but I will be turning my loom around a lot just to get a, a better reach and to give you a better view, I hope, as well. Okay. Once you have this, we can start on our eyes. If you have beads you'd like to use, you can use beads and some dental thread, dental floss or thread and your hook. I'm going to use the bands because I really like the, the brown color in the Rainbow Loom Skin Tone Kit. We take a white band, loop it so that it has two loops on either side. And we'll repeat that. Another brown for the other eye. Loop it about three times, maybe four. You could decide how tight or how thick you want it to be. White goes on top, wraps on either side. And this will be stretched out and put on top of a single green. You don't have to double it over. We're going to pull our whites over, try and keep these pretty well in order. Bring the browns over, two more whites. And your next side, get all those pieces on top. And this will be stretched from the second peg on one side to the second peg on the other side. You'll need to separate, separate your eyes, 
pinch that hook right inside in between the two green elastics and bring one piece up over the center. Okay, just like so. For your nose, you'll be taking two single greens, placing them together over your hook, and wrapping about four times. This gives a really long, broad nose. This is a little bit tricky, but you're going to put a single on top and stretch all of these bands right over the top of that. It gets difficult when you're when you need to make sure that you've got the right bands going over. You're going to put this right in the middle from the third peg to the third peg, and you can bring this up over this third peg on the center if you like, just to bring it closer to the eyes. Now we'll place some capping bands going from your fourth peg to your fourth peg and up in a triangle. And we can put one over the peg that has your nose and one more over the peg that has your eyes. Okay, let's get to our arms. I've already made one and we're going to make the other together. S using three single bands, you're going to go down through four sets, four sets of three. And this is on, uh, again, a rectangular uh, kind of more square loom formation so that when you put on your other set of three bands, it can line up with your second set from your first row. You can start this anywhere on the loom, wherever you've got room. We're going to do the hands which are going to be really thick and bulky. You're welcome to, to use a simpler method or a different technique if there's a way you've gotten used to doing the hands. If you'd like to replicate mine, we'll be doing about three loops, maybe four loops. There we go. With a single. And we're going to take a single, double it onto itself, and bring our looped green on top. And this is going to be one of the fingers. So we will do this four more times, and then Shrek will have five nice thick sausage fingers. A loop a single, double a single, and bring your first one on top. All together, you're going to need ten of these because you'll be doing two hands. So I'm going to show you the first five and what to do with them. I'll just get these ready. That's three. We need two more. Make sure you're pulling these down a little bit on your hook as you put them on so you have enough room for all of them to fit comfortably. Do one more for this section. And at this point, you're going to have an option. You can have it a little bit looser and use two bands, bring all of these on top. Or you can do it the, the harder way, which I think will make it look a little nicer. And that's by taking a single, doubling it over onto itself, and you'll have to stretch this really, really well so that all of these bands fit on top. Again, if this is too hard, you can always just do it on an, un an undoubled single, a single single, or on a set of, like a pair of bands. Once you have this, it's sort of like a clover. You'll be putting this right on top of your bottommost white band. So at the end of those first four on the side. This is also going to act as a capping band. So watch out if there's a little bit of tension. We're going to reach under the greens and take our bottom three, lift those up over into the next peg. 
I should mention this technique is borrowed from or adopted from PG Lumacy. Sorry, this this band is actually going to go right to the side. So after you've looped your first band set of bands up, your second one goes to the side one. And this gets looped up and then we'll keep looping upwards. This will give a little bit of a bulk or a kind of mus musculature. So pull this off the loom. First two. Second two. You'll have something like this and you can put that aside on a holding hook just for the moment and I'll get you to make one more. I will see you for part 